everyone welcome welcome back to my youtube channel you guys as y'all see we are here with another you know car talk i feel like it's gonna be a car talk because i i talk to myself a lot y'all so i felt like me coming in a car it's just me and you you know what i'm saying and it's like you gonna really get what i'm saying because if you don't get after watching this video, then I really don't know what to tell you because I'm never going to give y'all information or put y'all on game if I haven't experienced it or if I have never been through it. You know, like sometimes y'all got to stop taking advice and, you know, looking up to certain people that's not going to really put y'all on. But as y'all see, I really want to say thank y'all so very much for subscribing y'all to my YouTube channel. I'm getting better. Um, especially if you've been rocking with me since day one, I'm getting better, y'all. I'm really trying to work on being consistent as possible. Um, you know, just because I just, you know, if I'm subscribed to somebody's YouTube channel, like, I mean, I want to be watching them, you know, faithfully, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to continue to give y'all good videos, you know, great educational videos and continue to show up for not only for myself, but for y'all as well too. But y'all see what the thumbnails say. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like um, this is a really perfect topic to definitely talk about, um, especially to y'all. Because us as women, we got to understand that we got to step in that baddie era of ourselves, okay? And I'm going to give y'all some tips that I use that definitely has helped me. And I know it would definitely help you. Like, only thing you got to do is make sure that you apply it, okay? Now, I'm teaching you. I'm telling you. But you got to apply it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all up to you and whatever you decide to do after this video. But I really wanted to say how to step into being a baddie. The first step I would do if you're trying to, you know, get it together, try to step out of that little sad girl mode and, you know, not going out, not doing things, you know, coming out of that depression. Like, girl, it's time to be a baddie. OK, it's definitely time for you to step back into what makes you feel good. OK, so the first step I would do is real life kind of have a conversation with yourself. You know, don't nobody know you as much as you know you. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have those conversations with yourself to see what do you need to improve um to be able to make sure that you're going to be a baddie you know like i'm just being real like you gotta sit down with yourself and ask yourself what do i gotta do you might gotta change you know your hair you might gotta start investing into makeup you might gotta start you know going out you might gotta start taking better quality pictures you might gotta buy some clothes like whatever it is that you got to do to step in that baddie era it's not only physically materialized and stuff like that. It's really about you tapping into yourself. You know, if you are the type of person that want to work on yourself and want to grow and want to get to the next level, you got to go in a mode of isolation. You know, I fear a lot of people be like, oh my gosh, like, you know, I can't go out to eat by myself. I can't do this by myself. When I tell you, when you sit down with yourself and it's especially if you have dealt with the worst of the worst in your life before and you sit down with yourself and you go through that and you come out of that, when I tell you that builds character so you got to get in a period of your life to where you're isolated because when I tell y'all like I'm gonna be real like when I have separated myself from certain people and like stopped doing certain things like I have got better with myself like I have got better with tapping in with me being consistent coming up with ideas you know to give y'all on my YouTube but think about it, if I'm around so many different people so many different energies going out every weekend and not really focusing on what I'm really supposed to do it's like you're missing out on your blessing because you can't take the time out of the day to just be by yourself alone, okay? I feel like the most times I have ever produced the most work, made the most money, is when I'm by myself. I like to be around certain people, but I don't like to be around them 24-7, okay? It's like I have a limit of like 
how much I want to see you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to see you today. I know I'm not going to see you tomorrow. You know, not wishing nothing bad on you. It's just that that's where I have a space within me to where I love to be alone because I come up with the best ideas. I make sure that I be like, okay, girl, okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And I'm not all over the place. So you definitely need to do that as step one. Get into isolation mode. And when I say don't get into isolation mode, being depressed and being sad, you should take your time, you know, where you're by yourself to figure out how you're going to be better than your last self. You will want to get up every day and be better than the way you was yesterday. You should want to grow. You should want to continue to show up for yourself. You know, do great things for yourself. Like, you got to want the best for you. I can't want the best for you. You got to want the best for you. Like, and I'm saying that as many by, you can't let other people say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they're happy for you. No, you got to be happy for yourself, you know? So that's the first step, you know, definitely be okay with being isolated because I'm telling you, being in that, in that, in that quiet room, it beats a lot of motherfuckers and I'm telling y'all that shit the truth. But the second thing is try to be single, you know, try to not, um, you know, talk to guys. I'm not saying that, you know, you're not going to have guys that may want to talk to you. I'm not saying that. You know, you shouldn't date. But I feel like when you trying to get yourself together, it's really not healthy for you to be in a relationship and focusing on a guy because you're trying to get yourself together, you know? And I feel like you won't be happy, you know, if you're in that situation. So I'm not saying don't talk to those dudes. I don't say I told y'all that. But what I'm saying is, is that, Pour back into yourself. Sometimes these niggas, they could be like a distraction to what we're trying to do. I'm being so serious. Sometimes people can come into your life to distract you from things that you no, like, no longer need. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be real. Like I literally told myself that I just want to be by myself. Because I don't want to date. Like, of course you have guys trying to talk to you, but I'm just not in that. Like, I'm just not focused on that. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like I remember when I was driving, y'all, and this was last night. And I told myself, I said, I love me. And I started to cry. And I was like, I love me. And I meant that from the bottom of my heart when I said, I love me. Because I love me enough to know that, like, I'm okay. You know, I I have built a great relationship with myself to understand that I got me. You know, and I don't I don't want y'all to think that we don't need guys. You know what I'm saying? We do need a man, but it's 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 when you're ready. It's when you're ready and when you're ready to step into that. You know, because most girls, you know, they're, you know, they be good. You know what I'm saying? They got their business going on. And sometimes a relationship could be the reason why it's holding them back. So I, I would just focus on what you're trying to do. And, you know, don't really take shit too serious with these dudes, you know, until you know that person is the one for you, you know, so definitely don't focus on the niggas right now. Focus on yourself, what you're trying to do, and what you like to do. You know, focus on that right now, okay? The dude's going to come. But make sure you set first, okay? Make sure you have all your ducks in the row because you don't want nobody coming into your life the way you're building yourself up and then you got to stop doing what you're doing to help and build it. No, build yourself up first. Okay, you got to help you out at the end of the day. Don't be falling in love too um too fast. Don't be going into certain situations with your emotions too much. Because one thing I learned is that when you get in certain situations and you put your emotions first, it it is a devil. Okay, like I love you, God, but that is the devil when you lock in with your emotions so you got to ask yourself like okay i'm not gonna put my all into this because i know i catch i catch feelings too fast or i'm not gonna you know text this guy back too fast it's like you gotta like 
be the prize. You know what I'm saying? And make sure that if a guy come in and out your life, that you are that baddie, you are that bitch, and you good with, with or without a man. You know what I'm saying? You got to have that independence about yourself at the end of the day until you find someone that, that come and change your whole world. But until then, baby, don't accept nothing, okay? You know what you want and set those standards for yourself, okay? So, yeah, leave them niggas alone. Okay, leave them alone because, yeah, they ain't shit. But um, the third thing I want y'all to understand is that being a baddie also means really having a good relationship with God, okay? I am very big on spiritual. I'm very big on spirit. I'm very big on God, and I'm big on spirituality. Like, I'm very big on that. And I want y'all to understand that when I say I got me, I know that's God saying that he got me too. You know, a lot of situations, a lot of life experience that I went through, some days, y'all, I'm going to be real, I don't even know how I got through those days. But I had God giving me strength because when I pray, I pray and ask God what I need. Not just materialistic things. I pray for like strength. That's the main thing that I really, really, you know, pray for is really strength. Because sometimes a lot of people don't have the strength to keep going when life throws them down. You know, sometimes, you know, a lot of people don't have that, you know, release the way they can release what they're going through. They feel like, oh, they got to get on the phone with their friend or, you know, they got to gossip and then they, you know, kind of their friend not understanding them. Like when I got to a place to where I had no friends and I still team no friends, you know, and that was like in an earlier stage. And I'm just like, you know what? Like God is my best friend. You know what I'm saying? Because I would have never made it this far without him. You know, and when I say your trust, you got to trust in God. You got to trust in him. You know, even when things are going love and when you don't know, it's like you still got to trust God that he's going to make a way for you. And I'm telling y'all that because, you know, you are beautiful. OK, don't never let nobody tell you that you are not beautiful and you can't achieve the things that you see out here in this world. If you could see it, you could believe it. And one day it will literally be yours. OK, but you got to get up and you got to do the work. You got to do the work. OK, I'm big on that. And I think I said this in my uh, vlog and I said that, you know, God going to give you the rest, but you got to get up. OK. Some days when I'll be wanting, I'll be like, okay, God, okay, but I'm going to get up, you know, because you got to have your why. You got to have your why. And I feel like it's important. I stress this to y'all a lot. Get you a notebook. Write these things out because I can't stand when a person be like, um, I want to change. I want to do better. I want to have a better relationship with God. I want to do this. And they don't make the changes. They be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it the next day. It's like you don't make, you don't have great um, routine skills. That's like how you want results when you can't even keep up with the routine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I make it a duty every day. Like the way I'm talking to y'all, I talk to God just like this, you know, and God hears you. You know, whatever your prayer life is or whatever you're trying to work on or whatever you're trying to be into your life, I feel like your relationship with God will get you there closer than anything, okay? And it'll teach you a lot what you need to know about yourself, how you need to do, how you need to move, what you need to focus on. But building a really foundation and a strong connection with God is something that I feel like everybody should have. Everybody should have that relationship with God. It's like... I don't want to talk to you if you don't talk to God. Like, you know, I, I just, I'm going to be real. I don't. I don't want to have no relationship with nobody that just be like, hey, look, you know, man, I just had to go pray. Like, I had to go pray, okay? Like, everything else, all that bullshit, 
I had to go pray, okay? And that's the type of stuff that my like I'm on, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm big on my prayer, I'm big on everything because a lot of stuff wouldn't even happen if I wouldn't like never built a great relationship with God. Like I'm being so so serious, y'all, okay? So that's that one. Get I'm over there fucking up my words, y'all. <laughs> But no, for real, like, make sure you build a great relationship with the man above, okay? Build it, okay? Yeah. But I also, the next thing I want to tell y'all is how to step into your baddie era is that you got to start popping out girl okay you need to be doing your makeup doing your hair you need to be going out you need to be doing these activities you need to be buying these outfits buying these clothes and enjoy your life okay like one thing that i, I realized y'all i don't need nobody to go nowhere with me i will go by myself and i feel like i will enjoy it when I'm going by myself and you know why is because I'm not living for others. I'm living for myself. So if I want to go to the bar and wear me a nice little cute dress or, you know, go to a nice little um wine place or whatever, wine down place or whatever, and have me a wine and listen to some music, then I could go do that. And I want y'all to start doing that for yourself. Stop getting on the phone. Hey girl, you want to go here? No girl, I can't come because I got to watch my kids. So no girl, I got to work. And then the minute they call you and they tell you they can't come you don't go baddies don't do that okay baddies get up and go regardless of if they ask their friend or not you still gonna go you still gonna go have a good time so i want y'all to understand that baddies do things alone okay when you look like a baddie when you walk that that room like a baddie when i tell you your light gonna shine and when i tell you your light gonna be so big they're gonna be looking at you you're like dang you know i'm shining i'm popping they're gonna be like Oh my gosh, who is she? I'm telling you. They might not tell you that, but I'm telling you, when your aura bring that type of energy, when you walk in the door, you don't need no team. You don't need no chef on people walk. You don't need that. Okay? And that's all with believing in yourself. That's all with believing in yourself that you are a baddie. You got to know that it's so crazy that y'all will go watch the baddies on Zeus. But these girls ain't doing nothing but making themselves look crazy. Like, they fighting, they doing this, they doing that, and you sitting at home watching these people fight. Like, what's what's bad? What's what's? Yeah, it's bad, but these ain't baddies, though. Baddies have a different aura in their life. They choose to do things differently. They boss up. They focus on their passion. They go in achieving what they want to do into their life. You got to start thinking longevity, okay? So you got to get in that habit to be like, you know what? I'm going to go out. I'm going to plan this day. I'm going to buy this outfit and I'm going to go here. And like some of y'all always be like, oh my gosh, like I got to spend a whole bunch of money on outfits and stuff like that and no you don't like most of the stuff that i wear y'all it be from rainbow it be from sheen and like i'm gonna be so real with y'all i love rainbow and i love sheen because like when i when i do content you know i always make sure that like okay cool like my outfit's gonna be cute or whatever because i'm doing content you feel me that's what make me happy so i try to look cute when i do my content some days i might be chilling some days i might be whatever but i feel like wearing comfy clothes around the house you know doing your hair a certain type of way you know wearing this around the type of day you know baddies wear things to make them feel good stop wearing that big ass t-shirt ass shirt when you go to bed stop doing that shit stop wearing that grandma ass gown stop doing it get you some pretty night clothes okay get you some pretty you know house clothes or whatever get you a pretty robe or something like baddies make themselves feel good okay now i understand sometimes we get mad when we don't get our hair done and we get depressed but baby if you don't if you don't like the feeling of how it feels when your hair is not done keep it done okay 
Keep it done. If you got a wig in your closet and that's your only wig that you got, you better take care of it. You better reuse it. You better put it on until you be able to get you another wig. Okay? It's like there's no excuse for you to not feel confident in yourself. Okay, ladies? That's what baddies are. They have confidence and aura within their self. Okay? They make they self feel good. They know that they're that bitch. And I need for y'all to understand that too. You are that bitch okay you are that bitch you you are you is that boss ass bitch okay know that you are the shit regardless of what they tell you what she tell you and what all these motherfuckers tell you just let them know that your big sis the real jakira told you that okay but that's one thing like make sure you are doing whatever it takes for you to be happy I feel like uh, as, as us as women, like, I'm going to be real. For me, if my hair and my makeup done, um, I, I feel like that is the most smallest thing that I love to feel. Like, that's the smallest thing. As long as I keep my hair done, as long as I, you know, do my makeup and stuff like that, like, that makes me feel good. And that's the smallest thing. So, your small thing may be just getting your hair done, getting your nails done or whatever, but you don't want to just have those moments of, oh, you cute this day, and then you look a ratchet the next day. Hell no, okay? We want to make sure that you looking good every single day and you stand onto that because if you're sad about your hair, you're going to get depressed. You're going to continue to get depressed and continue to get down. It's going to make you feel low. So do whatever you got to do to keep feeling high. Do whatever you got to do to push yourself to the top. So you might got to book with your friend every two weeks. Or you might got to book with your hairstylist every three weeks to get your hair done. Do whatever you got to do to feel that confidence and that aura within yourself, y'all, okay? For real, do that. Your friend day, okay? But um, the next thing is how to step into your baddies era is understanding you got to change. Understanding you got to change. And I want you to real life take this is the last note I'm going to give y'all today. But understanding it's time to change. Stepping into your baddie era, you got to understand that time and having to change is so important. Whatever you do in your life, you know, whatever you do, you know, working, you know, got a job, you, you content creator, want to start being a content creator. Don't waste time on becoming the better version of yourself don't stop that you know the process is not gonna be easy y'all and i think that a lot of people want it to be easy and that's why a lot of people don't do it but change things about yourself and know that if you keep wasting time you're not going to be able to be that person. So put yourself where you see yourself. You know, visualize who this person that you want to be and become and do it. Take many steps. I'm not saying that you're going to have it all together at one time, but it's the baby steps that help you grow as a person. And, you know, I think that I look back and I realize like, you know, I'm not worried about working a nine to five job, working in a nightclub, because you know what? I still make time to do what I love to do. So there's no excuse of why you shouldn't be taking the time out of your day to build your dreams. I know a lot of girls say, I want to be a content creator. I want to start my YouTube channel, but... In order for you to start your YouTube channel, you got to change up some things. Don't let your job be the reason why you don't have time to do what you love to do because that's what a job is going to do. Baddies don't work all their life. Baddies play the game smart. Baddies play it smart. 
So you might got to get a, a um, part-time job. You might got to get a night job. But you should make sure that you are building what you are passionate about. It doesn't matter if it's 10 o'clock at night, if it's um, 5 o'clock in the evening and you tired. If, like, if you got to start taking vitamins to give you energy, like, you got you got to be up. Because if you don't change, what you're doing is going to continue to be a cycle each and every day. You're going to go to work. You're going to go to work. And you're going to make somebody else's dream come true. And you just pass them by yours. You just pass them by yours. Never can figure out why you're not getting ahead, why you're not doing certain things. It's because... You're choosing to be on a job. And those days that you have off or those days when you get off from work, you're not spending your time wisely. I'm still building my YouTube channel and I still get up every day and I still continue to do content and have my personal life and do everything. I'm showing y'all the grind. But when I tell you, you got to change, okay? You got to change. Okay, it is very important. Change the things that you need to do in order for you to have more time, ladies. Okay, baddies, you need to be out. Okay, you need to be shining that light, that aura, whatever you're blessed with, whatever you're gifted with. You need to be tapping into that. You need to be growing into that. You need to be pushing towards that, ladies. Okay, because I'm telling y'all everything that I did. I want y'all to do the exact same thing. And I promise you, it's going to take you up. If you do everything, if, if, if I gave y'all the tea, the game, it's up to you to apply it. You can do it, girl. And you know you can. You wouldn't be watching this video if you couldn't. You know you can do it. You know you can. And I'm telling you that. If nobody ever told you that, I'm telling you that. So it's time to step into your baddie era. It's time to glow up. It's time to put that smile on your face. It's time to move forward. It's time to get these goals put out the way. It's time to plan these trips. It's time to go after everything that you deserve. It's time for you to get back everything that you deserve. Okay, ladies? That's the key point. Okay? But I love y'all so very much. Thank y'all for watching this video. If this video was helpful, make sure you guys like. Please, please comment. I absolutely love when y'all comment. I love to see what y'all say. I love the positivity I get from you guys. Y'all don't understand. It makes my day when y'all like my video, when y'all comment on my video. It makes my day. Okay? And understand, I love y'all. Anybody that comment, I always respond to y'all because I want y'all to know I'm here with you. We here, okay? But make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video. <laughs>